Hey y'all. Hi guys. It's Ryan. And Angela. And I'm tired. No. <laughs> it's early. <laughs> it's a uh, Saturday, so we shoot vlogs of our life and business and days and all the good stuff on Saturdays. All the good things. Special one, we're doing a performance with our kiddos today on the square. And so we gotta go get some supplies from Walmart. Yep. Like extension cordies mm -hmm. and stuff. Yes. And we're super tired. I'm super tired, you're super tired. Yeah. All right. So, hope you enjoy our vlog of our day. Checking out what it's like owning a little mom and pop shop. Yep. Deep in our Texas. Where the stars are bright. Yes, they are. Something like that. It's kind of cloudy right now. It is. It's daytime. I'm glad. It's going to be cooler today. That's true. Coming up on July. Mm -hmm. All right, so come along with us to Walmart in Can, Texas. Yay. We're at the shop, we're packing up. We just packed up the drum set. Not the full drum set, a stripped down drum set. Right. Packing up our little practice mini PA, guitar amps, all that good stuff. Well, that's not guitar amps, those are drums. Ultimate excitement. Excitement. Yeah, it's toppable. Huh? Oh, we're about to play a uh, thing in the pocket park. There's our audience. Hi, audience. Yeah. Playing outdoors for the outdoors experience. Yes. The festival experience. Yes. Canton Palooza. <laughs>
the shop now mm -hmm. uh, it was super hot yes so hot I thought I was gonna pass out it's easy. Mm -hmm. but I didn't you didn't so we unloaded the trucks just Angela and I mm -hmm. but we had a lot of help we had, we had some help loading the trucks from all the, the stage. equipment from mm -hmm. the stage mm -hmm. so yeah the bitter bass man helped and Aaliyah our student and her dad Nathan yes. helped us so yes. they're always super helpful Yes, very but we much. unloaded. Oh, such a blessing. It's super hot. So we've just been sitting here for a minute, like, uh, <laughs> enjoying the air. Just uh, like dead. <laughs> completely. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, the lesson room's still a wreck. All the equipment still strode around. But mm -hmm. um, we might come back tomorrow and straighten, put the lesson rooms back together. So. Yeah. Angela's going home. Yes. I'm restringing a guitar because it's work. Yep. It's always work time for about another two hours. And then we're going to go to Tyler for things. Things, stuff. Reasons. Reasons. Yeah, because we had to go to Tyler Wednesday for reasons. Yep. And so we're always. going back for similar reasons. Mm-hmm. You just have to stay tuned and watch because now yeah. you're like, what are they talking what? about? What's happening? Yep. All right. So we'll see you all in a little bit. All right. Peace. We're sitting here getting gas, and Nichols and I are watching. You can't see them now. Right under the porch. Right. Look, uh -huh. right in there, there's like six squirrels running up and down that tree, across the roof, and in the yard. I mean, like a family there. You see one going up the tree? It's the crook. Oh, yeah. It's in the crook of the tree. They're, and they're falling right there. It is so funny. They were all, they came running around that corner, chasing each other. It was the cutest stinking thing. Oh, you see them? They're in that, they're in that bush right there. Walmart looks like they're widening this road. It's crazy. Construction has been stupid. And people exiting from Walmart are gonna have a problem because there's not a light here, so yeah. <laughs> yeah. We went from three lanes to five lanes in less than a year, and most of our older people are having issues of which lane to, that they can drive on. Yeah. So it's gonna be interesting. But, it really will be. Uh, we are on our way to Tyler, Texas now mm -hmm. to do some stuff in Tyler, Texas. Things. It's 5 o'clock Saturday. Mm -hmm. Store shut down. Taking the family to Tyler, Texas, y'all. Yeah. Check it out. I'm I was saying, these people don't know how to drive. That's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. It's first Monday weekend, the big first flea market in town. A bunch of know how to drive, no know, know how. Know how to drive them. Driving people, folks. Mm -hmm. Up in her. Make you lose your mind. Son. Anyway, I was saying, I'm still zapped from the heat earlier. I think. Are you? Are yes. you rested up? No, I'm still kind of yucky from yeah. it. Well, it's a nice air conditioned drive to Tyler. We might get some. Ice cream. Sounds Maybe. good. Because that's on my diet. It is. <laughs>
Betrayers. Betrayers to our brand. We went to the Devil's Workshop. What? They were really nice though. So sweet. But see, it's the corporations that are the problem. Mm -hmm. Not the uh not the employees. Not the people who work at the ground level. Not all the employees. Yeah. <laughs> it's not the employees actually in the store, it's the corporate buttholes. Yes. But now we're gonna go eat, right? Now we're gonna eat so much food. So much food. Funny. It's not really it's gonna be scary. We are at KFC with the boys. Getting some much needed sustenance after waiting a bajillion days for Ryan's guitar. It was not my fault. No, it was not. It was not at all your fault. At all. It was technical difficulties. We were there for like two and a half hours. Waiting. <laughs> and they waited so patiently, didn't y'all? It was worth it. We got games in the end. Yes, they had video games in their phones. Kingdom Hearts, The Long Dark. Yes, they bought video games. We bought... To GameStop. We bought Aiden a video game. Nicholas bought himself a video game. With my own money. Yes. And now where are we going, babe? <coughs> After this? Mm -hmm. I don't know. <coughs> Andy's. Oh, Andy's. Are we? I want to share one with you, at least. Okay, I'll share one. Okay. You have to drive, though. That's fine. I'll drive. That's fine. Food time. Now we're at Andy's frozen custard. Pure insanity. Yes, in it is. Cup. It really honestly is. Oh my gosh. But it's so good. I can't find my wallet. Yes, you can. Alright, it's 1913. That's damn score. Hello. I like it when something's got two bucks. Alright, I'm 50. This place is super busy. It really is. It's like first Monday on steroids. It's a lot of custard. It really is. It's a little bit tiny cup. Little, little baby cone. I think it was a sample. I was like, they should make that for what we're doing. <laughs> See, oh, it's a doggy cone. Uh, dog. Dogs eat baby. Yeah. Feed that dog. Yeah. Some yeah. I will find you if I center of that. That is the nectar of the gods. So here's the new guitar. We just got home from Tyler just a little while ago. It's a Solo 6 Custom. I've already took the strings off of it. Man, I'm really in love with the fretboard. It's a real ebony. It's got that chocolatey, stripey goodness to it. Uh, the pickup ring that was on it was already cracked and busted, so I'm putting a new pickup ring on. And, uh, well, let me show you. It's a vintage, not the dark vintage sunburst. That's a, that's a darker one. This is, I forget which one it is. It's a vintage sunburst. I think it's the honey burst. I forget what it's called exactly. I'll have to look it up, but yeah, super cool. Seymour Duncan custom custom in the bridge. 59 the neck and we got it for a stupid stupid good price 
and I traded in a guitar that I had for a long time that didn't really cost me much and crazy good deal. Ridiculous. So excited. I'm at church now. Me and Peter talking guitars, and I was just looking at his pedal board. Guitar talking. He's got two pedal powers. Had to have them. But you use that for your guitar and bass. Yes. So it's not just a it's not a bass pedal board. It's, per a, dual, se. it's a dual purpose pedal board. Yeah. Guitar and bass. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, obviously it is Sunday, as I uh, was showing you my buddy Pete's pedal board this morning. It is about five o'clock in the evening. Angela, <clears throat> uh, I feel like I got a little summer allergy thing coming on. My throat's a little sore. Nothing like a bit of a cold in the summer. I'm gonna beat it. I'm gonna get the vitamin C booster and anyways all right so I'm going, I'm going over to Paul's house Paul has been out of town for most of the last month he's been working in Dallas because his his uh, company he works for their building here in town got hit by a tornado and so pretty much not quite total but they can't work in their building so he's been having to commute he's been having to work in Dallas for the company he works for Dude, it is like, speed limit is not 15 miles an hour. <sighs> What's wrong with people, y'all? Uh-oh. Something's going on. Fire trucks. Alright, I had to make a little bit of a detour there. Uh, fire trucks were driving into my neighborhood that I was just driving out of. So I'm like, what is going on? Let me go check. Make sure our neighbors are okay. They are. It's not it's not on our street, it's a few streets over from us. So anyways, I forgot what I was saying. Oh no. That Paul has been out of town for the last month or so, so we haven't got together too much. He came over and played with us yesterday obviously at the uh, little pocket park gig with our students which was awesome and uh but we haven't had much of a chance to work on any other music so i'm gonna head over today and we'll see if we can get any kind of musical stuff done so all right see you guys at paul's house i am filming because i was just filming that i'm coming over here I'm gonna let everyone know we decided to go to Jerry's and have pizza instead of well, not instead. Well, of, we'll play I'm before. Just, I've been eating all. I have this. I've been painting all day in the primary. I also haven't eaten, so it's. I just want people to think I'm being lazy. I did run out here naked on accident, like kind of. I was trying to go to the laundry room and I was like, <laughs> I took the blinds down. I forgot. Oops. Oopsie. <laughs> Neighbor might have gotten a show. Yeah, she might have liked it. <laughs> She probably did. <laughs> Seven-year-old's like, man, look at that young guy. She's always ah. crying. <laughs> She's like, you finally took the curtains down. Just what I've been waiting for. It was. <laughs> the lady I caught looking in the window when I first moved in. That's, she was looking for that back then. Well, probably. Oh, <laughs> man. It's not on my diet, Paul. It's not a diet kind of night. <laughs> Anytime we would meet, it's not a diet. So I'm, the majority of the time I'm gonna have pizza. Yeah, it's well, a high carb pizza. Imitation pizza, right here. You heard me. It's real pizza. You heard me. It's fake pizza. Oh it looks like pizza, does not taste like pizza. It's the best pizza ever. It is the best, okayest, not pizza pizza. <laughs> it looks like pizza. Looks, it's food that looks like pizza, but doesn't taste like pizza.
<laughs> Battlestar. Battlestar. Uh, I, I, did, I didn't hit the uh, I didn't hit the record button until the music started. So that whole first part, we were just talking to a screen that wasn't recording. <laughs> oh, nice, 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 nice. You gotta love it. So we we actually have been working. Uh, this is the idea. Get some ideas. Just throw them in. Rough scratch tracks. And hopefully they grow into big, beautiful babies. Yeah, yeah. It's a seed. Now you have to water the seed to let it grow like a little baby it's plant. Very catchy seed. Yeah. Sounds like Battlestar Galactica. It does. It's kind of where I got the idea from. I'm not going to lie. But it's not a carbon copy. It's... Oh, no, it's not even close. Because I went back and I thought, oh, this sounds like Battlestar Galactica. I wrote this and I go back and listen to Battlestar Galactica. And it's like... It's not even close. It's not even close, but it reminds me of it. It does. That works out. So it's all good. No copyright infringement. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Well, I'm gonna go home and take my medicine like an old guy. I want to get ready and packed to leave again. Hmm. Sounds exciting. So exciting.